Hey y'all. So I'm just coming here to do a little halfway reaction. I think I'm gonna do a full video. But this girl, um, well, this guy just recently started a page. Like he got about seven videos up and it's a documentary style page and he just has um testimonials of different people living with different hardships here in america and so i don't know but somehow this came across my algorithm on my page as you know um something i may watch or whatever so it had this real real clickbaity picture okay it said a prostitute kelly and then it had the girl Kelly picture. Now, y'all, just by her picture alone, she looked 15. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, she don't even look like she's 16. She look really, she has a real baby face or whatever. Um, so I click on it just like, okay, let me see. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm, I just be curious about how different people live and stuff. So I just have to click it, watch the video. It was just it was it was just a real fucked up story like and like basically this girl sat there and said that she has been raped molested left them puddles of blood cut up abused since she was five and bounced from foster home to foster home she said that um she ran away and been on her own in the street tri tricking um since she was 11 because her mother used to abuse her and from foster care to foster care now let me tell you this it's now like i'm thinking about it like running it back you know what i'm saying it the story really don't make sense um because she said she was in multiple foster homes yet she said that she ran away when she was 11 she also said that she never went to high school um she said her grandmother had custody of her when she was obviously between the ages of a child and 11 being the only like family that she knows she don't know her um father's side and um her grandmother lost custody of her she never said why her grandmother lost custody of her comes to find out because it was a lie her grandmother never lost custody of her now, while I may believe that her mother in the beginning may have very well lost custody to her, that's why her grandmother ended up having her. For her to say the stuff that she was saying and the thing that was real triggering and compelling about the whole story was that the most traumatic and gory events that was happening in her life was all prepubescent. Like, she was like a fucking infant, a toddler. Like, it's just like really really crazy and then on top of like all of that like this video the initial okay so two videos are were dropped that initial video which i'm talking about was dropped like three days ago um and i watched that video like yesterday so i'm like okay and it was set around christmas time um the interviewer the owner of the page which i'm not shouting them out i've already accidentally kind of said the name of the title so if y'all want to go see the scam go check it out over there but um he was saying it was around christmas time i'm gonna bring you um dinner and she lived in a tent and she said she tried to kill herself yesterday but somebody found her make her throw up all the pills she's talking about something she probably would kill herself today and um and then if not today, tomorrow and they had this little banter to where it was like no i'm not about to let you kill yourself um tomorrow's christmas eve and i think the following day was like christmas and he was like no i'll bring you a christmas dinner she was saying like it was just really compelling stuff like she was basically just talking about the depression of not having um family around the holidays and things of that nature and that little part like really stung and it kicked me and stuff and it was like as you watch her like she was really good at keeping like a straight face and it was like it was like the sorrow that she made it look like was like you know um 
well, that she was trying to be strong in the way she was talking about her body, y'all. She talked about a miscarriage. She talked about some she went to full term, but it turned out to be a stillbirth. Y'all, she said a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot of stuff. And, like, the only red flag about the whole video when I first watched it, I'm not gonna lie, was her braces. Um, the nails, the jewelry, you know, I ain't really think too much of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you tricking, like, okay, I can believe you keep your nails done just to look more appealing, like a little ring. Like, I can see like a pimp giving you a ring or something of that nature. But the braces is what really, really threw me off. A lot of people was talking about some her ponytail, her baby hairs lay and stuff like that. The girl has a nice grade of hair, so like that stuff like she was all natural talking about some like it was it was a few comments that were legit like um like after i went to watch the second video the second video was basically a thank you video to all the people um they were saying that they created a gofundme um ooh, fire department paramedics okay um she was saying how like I mean, they made the second video to basically express their thank and their gratitude. Um, like, so I didn't click any link in the, I didn't click any links in the description or anything. But I guess supposedly he um, set up a GoFundMe for this girl. And like I said, that original video dropped only three days ago. Today, this morning, I woke up to an update, and I was like, I was hyped to click on it because just for the simple fact that it's like okay where is she now because the video took place during christmas you know what i'm saying so it's january it's been at least a month or stuff so, or so you know and i was just like really happy i watched the video and i was like really like she was like yes i like like if you just watch the videos and don't read the comments You'll be like, okay, I'm happy this this is her. Like, I wrote a comment, like, girl, you are loved out here. I love you. And there's other people out here that love you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because that story is crazy. Like, that story was really, like, the worst of the worst of all the situations that could even possibly happen. Like, it was about physical abuse, mental abuse, molestation, rape, um, um, underage trafficking. Like, it was, like... So much and it was crazy because i'm not gonna lie to y'all now that i'm like talking to y'all thinking about it it kind of sound like she bit the um centoya's centoya brown story like if y'all really listen if y'all go look into her story her her story was kind of similar in situation to how she was you know prostituting at a young age and the different things that she was going through and I just can't on my mind now. But yeah, I just think that it's really, really, really disgusting to sit there and lie like that. So in the comments below, um, I, I recently got rid of um, my Facebook page just because sometimes I feel like Facebook, especially being here in the Midwest, is used more for personal, not marketing purposes. So it just be like, I don't really be caring about people's personal business. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't going to sit there and keep post watching. And then if I get frustrated, you know, if I post something, I'm not about to give be everybody else entertainment either. So I just decided to go ahead and delete my Facebook. But in the comments of the um, second story, um, there was a person that said celebrity celebrity it's, it's celebrity but it's spelled celebrity and then t-e-a and it was basically a page that basically exposed like or had proof that the girl was lying y'all she said she ran away when she was 11 she never went to high school and all that y'all like i'm gonna insert the clip after this because i did in fact screen record y'all i made a whole facebook page just to go see because i'm like ain't no way i was lied to like this like ain't no motherfucking way like i felt like they lied to me personally like i felt like i donated i ain't donate not a dollar but it was like when i heard that she had donations and helps and stuff it was like that's good that's great just to come to find out this was all a lie y'all they have proof of her in high school her high school id they talk about some she graduated she you know what i'm saying she had like it's just crazy so the whole lot is crazy um and i'm just saying like i just feel like if you gonna be on here scamming you know what i'm saying and i'm talking more of to the um what was i about to say the the 
the page, the owner of the page in the documentary or whatever. I feel like if you're going to be out here, like, you know, scamming, don't, don't be using underage girls. Yes, the girl's 21, but she got a baby face. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was real clickbaitable, and that's why you did it. And I'm just like, it's just really disgusting, especially as women, you know, you know most of them donations came from women and the sad thing about it is you know most of them donations came from women with children they came from mothers so it's just like that's disgusting i even saw one comment that was like i gave her 23 dollars when i had my last 40 and that's the type of person i am like i don't donate some stuff over the internet at all but like you know, if I got my last, but I know I got a, I got a house to go lay my head down in. I got food and stuff. Like, I'm going to give a, a little bit to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if it's my last, like, if I was about to go take some money because I'm about to go out or something, and I see somebody sitting outside in the cold, or if I know it's a, a real organization, I have no problem of saying, all right, I'm not going to go to the club tonight, or I'm going to limit my budget to help somebody else out. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people felt that way and donated to this girl and to this man. And then, like, it's just really cringy, like, the afterthought. Like, thinking about the second video, she was sitting around um, talking about it's so crazy because like as i'm just replaying the video in my head like in the first video she was talking about something she want to be an ig model i'm like and it's so crazy because she said that i'm like well you're you're cute and i'm like if you out here prostituting and tricking like yes i would really truly prefer you to have a fans only page type stuff like that's where my brain is going and um she she had said that which was like a red flag but after such a compelling story it's like okay she's 21 she you know what i'm saying she ain't never had an education okay i see why that's her aspirations and goals but at the same time she said she wanted to be a lawyer and some other like nice like heartstrings and i was thinking i was like bro she still got the aspirations of a child child like and it was like the the career field that she said that she wanted to do i'm like you got to go to high school, you got to go to college, then you got to go to grad school, like, but it was just like, okay, you dreaming and stuff, but all that other stuff, like, I was, it, it was just baffling me, then I'm sorry, phone call, but then on the second video, she was like, I got a $4,000 AT, AT&T bill, she was like, I'm gonna spend, like, and this is, this is another thing that made me go, Rrr! because she was like, with well, $20,000, she want to get an apartment and pay up three months rent and get a car and pay off some debt. Bitch, what? Like, if you was really going through that, bitch, if you got 20, like, if you really had $20,000, bitch, you need to pay up rent for, like, a year or two. You know what I'm saying? At least a year so you can get on your feet and stuff. Like, she was like, I want to get some, like, it, like, her true colors really, really came out. And in the moment, like, before I read the comments, and it's so, so crazy because in the first video, I did not read not one comment. I don't even know if i commented but on the second video i was like i left the comments so i think that's what made me decide to read the comments and y'all when i say everybody like this is scam this that da, 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 da. like i'm trying to like i was trying to be like the devil's advocate i'm like this video came out three days how in the world do y'all know this investigation is that in the third like i said that's when i made a facebook page just to go to the, the the celebrity page just to see like this proof of my own ass and y'all it just blew me all the way away you know um and then like i said it's just really sad to, to try to scam when there are people actually out there going through that and living through those type of things like what did y'all do sit down and watch a whole bunch of like i said svu um law and order svu episodes and then inside of centoya brown and like remixed it together like that's that's like just really 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 sick you know what i'm saying and like it's a part of me that wants to like feel bad because it's like for the people who donated but it's another part of me that's like nah like you know like like mm -mm. And then, like I said, even on top of all of that, too, like, I, I, I was kind of looking and looking at her like, she's a really pretty girl. Like, if she's willing to prostitute, like, I'm pretty sure she's willing to bow for a dude who can get her out of prostitution. But, y'all, I don't know. That was just my story, my feelings on her story, I should say. That was my feelings on her story. Um, 
I just, that's just disgusting and like i said be really careful who you decide to donate to you know what i'm saying um and then even in that second video he was saying like i put the goal at five thousand. we met it and, and we met it like so quickly then i moved it up to this amount to then we're already at nineteen thousand dollars and you know we just put the go for me page up 24 hours ago like it hasn't even been up and like i said that's just really sick you know what i'm saying to take advantage of people um i saw a lot of people saying that and, and that is something i know too that gofundme does not condone scamming you know and people want to be able to you know what i'm saying try to get their money back and figure something out but i don't really know how that's gonna go because i really like i said i didn't look in like the description box so i don't know if they like left the link or whatnot and then um but because they wasn't really fully soliciting for money. They wasn't asking for help. They just knew people. Because I'm not going to lie. Just me. I was like, damn. I wish. Because as I was watching the video, I was kind of like, I was kind of thinking to myself, like, damn, is it somebody we can, like, help her or donate some stuff? Like, I was really, like, real life thinking that. And to find out that there was other people thinking that and either, you know, reached out to him to find out how they can donate or to go see if there was a link to donate to. I just think that's really, really crazy. But... Yeah, I'm just, you know, I just had a little bit of um, time right quick before I had to go run in for this appointment that I got. But I'm just saying, like, it's 2020. Like, this is, I we can't start the year off with scamming. Like, not like this. Like, that's just so, I mean, misfortunate. And it's just like, I just really hope that the people who donated those lump sums, like, I, I really hope that... It was either like you know a bunch of people donating like five dollars and it collectively added up because the video last time i checked it was at 1.7 million views you know what i'm saying so like a handful of people donate like five dollars or something here and and i hope it really didn't break the bank you know what i'm saying but that's that's wild like that's that's wild and um I don't know like this year is starting off crazy you know we just lost kobe and that just shook up everything and because it's the way that he you know passed away and things with his daughter which is sad and then now it's this scamming y'all we not even in february yet so i don't know what 2020 is about to bring but how i feel is i need to go get some lasik surgery so i can see through all the bullshit because Mm -mm. 2020 vision clearly ain't clear enough because they just they just pulling bullshit in front of you so i don't know comment down below if y'all came across that video and what you guys think about the whole situation were you one of the people who donated um i want to tell y'all to go watch the video but at the same time it's like i don't want y'all to watch this video because um i don't know i don't think the video had any ads in it but i don't want him to be able to monetize off all those views that he has you know um but yeah i one thing i was able to see that a lot of people did say that took a lot of um of his credibility away so why he thought he may have was going to be building a platform because like i said he only got about like seven videos um no one is going to want to watch none of them videos like don't get me wrong like now some of the other videos like you can clearly clearly see that those people were on some type of drugs you know what i'm saying it's just so crazy y'all i'm about to say this and i'm about to wrap it up i was just watching um 60 days in and basically in the girls unit one of the actual inmates was able to call out the other three inmates and basically was like based on appearance and was like yo t fame messed up y'all too pretty like y'all just too polished y'all don't look like y'all would be in here you know what i'm saying y'all don't fit in, fit in with this crowd and that's exactly the same way it was with that girl like compared to all like i said just the thumbnails of everybody else and their titles then her face with her title her standing out and not fitting in is exactly what made you click on it. It was exactly what made you be like, oh my God, I can't believe this happened to this girl. But I don't know, y'all. Stuff is crazy. The world is beyond me. And that's why I stay in my own little bubble. Because, no, don't burst my bubble. I'm going to burst you. 
Because that's how I'm really feeling. So, I'm about to go off and apply for this job. So, hopefully, I can get a better camera and I can start making better quality videos. I've already went to school and class. You know, I have my editing skills down. I have some software on my laptop now, but my laptop, it likes to crash. So, fingers crossed that within a month or two, I can save up enough to get a laptop so that I can work more efficiently. And, yeah, you guys, I'll see y'all in another video. Once again, comment down below if y'all seen the video. Um, and tell me what y'all think. Like, because, y'all, I'm really shook and sick. All right, y'all. Bye. Hey you guys, so right here is the screen recording of the celebrity page as you can see right here. But I just wanted you guys to actually be able to see some of the proof that this page was able to show. So take your time, pause the videos. I did try to scroll slowly, but then eventually I think I started to scroll kind of fast. But yeah, here's just some of the proof that they they were lying. And you know, we're hoping that she scammed the guy and the guy wasn't scamming all of us but you know i just i i personally think that if you're going to create a gofundme page or any type of monetary value of collection that you should really really fully do your research you know because now once once again his credibility is going to be looking very very bad and no one is going to want to watch the rest of his videos and it may stunt the growth of his page but check it out you guys and see what you guys think about the whole situation okay bye